This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. All right, we have a really cool tutorial today because we're gonna be creating a neon sign along with a handful of other useful techniques. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, what's cool about this tutorial is that there's several different techniques in this video that can be used for other types of After Effects projects. So, for example, we're gonna be able to break apart text and separate it. We're gonna create some awesome glow effects that can be used for pretty much anything. And then on top of that, we're gonna put together a nice little scene. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump into our tutorial and let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and the first thing we wanna do is type out a title. And when you have your title ready, and what we wanna do is come here to the character window and there's this little, you know, no fill color icon right here. We want to check on that and you can click on this little box right here called stroke color and you can change the stroke color of your title. Now what I'm going to do here is select like one letter here and I'm going to change the color of it just to make it a little bit more unique. So I'll do like an orange and that's cool. So now we have the stroke of our title and also you can change and also you can change the stroke width right here and make it a little bit thicker if you want. I'll probably keep mine at like five to seven. And on top of that, what I'm going to do here is grab the rectangle tool, click on the word fill and set it to none, click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. And then I'm going to change the color to just white, click OK. And I'm going to draw out a box around our composition like so. And I'm going to center this up and we can change the stroke width to maybe like 10 or so. Now that we have our scene set up, what we'll do here is we'll grab both our layers and go up to layer pre-compose and we can call it placeholder. Okay, and now for our first technique, we're going to cut this up and create more of a hook to our, you know, composition. So we'll go to the rectangle tool and what we'll do here is just mask out this corner here and set the mask to subtract and we'll cut that out. Then we come here, say, to some of the title elements here and we can cut out, you know, the top portion of this end and set it to subtract. You know, we can do the bottom portion and set that to subtract as well. And I'm just going to go throughout our text and finding little areas that we can connect to. So now I have everything kind of masked out at certain points, just kind of randomly here with throughout our, you know, title. So what we'll do here is we'll grab the ellipse tool here at the top and we'll set the stroke to a very dark gray. Click OK. And we'll come here and we'll draw a perfect circle by holding down shift on our keyboard. And it's a very small circle there. I'll zoom in and then we'll crease the stroke width just by a little bit. Grab the selection tool and we'll put this you know, right over the end, we'll make this a little bit smaller. So we go to ellipse one, go into the path one, and we can decrease the size and then maybe bring down the stroke width by a little bit. So now that we have a little bit of a holder here and we'll call it pin. Okay. And then what we'll do here is we'll duplicate this layer and we can move it over to any other points on this image that are able to pin it to, you know, the wall, if you will. So now I have all these small pins everywhere in our composition. And what we'll do here, instead of pre-composing it, and there's this shy icon right here, and I want to click it. And then what we'll do is come here to the top, and there's this hide all layer switch icon here. We'll click it, and automatically it's hitting from our composition, so we can easily change it or move things around a little bit later if we need to. And before we move further into our video, I want to say thank you to Envato Elements for making this video possible. You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato Elements. So now that we have our pins in here, now we can move on to our second technique, which is really about creating the glows and turn this into a legitimate you know, neon glow effect. So what we'll do here is we'll grab our placeholder and we will duplicate this and we'll come here to the bottom layer and we'll call this shadow. Then we'll go up to effect perspective and we're going to add drop shadow. And we're going to check on shadow only and we'll change the direction to maybe, you know, 90 ish degrees and then we'll increase the distance just by a little bit maybe to like seven and we'll set the opacity to maybe like 75 percent then let's come here and let's duplicate the shadow layer and we'll come here to the bottom layer and we can increase the distance by just a touch and we'll come here to softness and we'll increase this to maybe like 20 or so and let's go back to that previous layer and set the opacity to maybe just like 50 percent that'd be fine cool so this adds a little bit of depth and a little bit of blur on to the background and that's cool all right, then let's come here and let's duplicate our placeholder. Come here to the bottom duplicate. 
and we'll rename this to inner uh, shadow that's fine and we'll go to layer layer styles and we're going to add a stroke and i should have just called it stroke and we'll come here to the stroke and we'll set this position from outside to inside and we can increase the size by a little bit let's change the color to white click okay so we have nothing going on at the moment so you can't really see anything but we'll go to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to add a gaussian blur and we'll increase the gaussian blur up to maybe like 20 or so the higher you go you know the more glow you get so boom a little bit of a glow going on there then let's duplicate this and let's call this outer glow let's go to layer layer styles and let's add an outer glow and come here to outer glow let's open this up let's set the color to maybe that orange that we created click ok and let's set the opacity to 100 percent and then we'll duplicate the placeholder one more time and we'll call this um fast blur and we'll put this layer underneath our inner shadow then we'll go up to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to add cc radial fast blur and we'll set the zoom to brightest and we'll bring this down to maybe like 20 to 30. cool and that kind of amplifies everything by a little bit and that looks cool and then to finish off this glow let's go to layer new adjustment layer let's go up to effect stylize and let's add glow finally we add the glow effect and then what we'll do here is go to original colors right here, set this to A and B colors, go here to the color looping, and I'll set this to Sawtooth B greater than A. Come here to color A, and we can select any color that we want. So if you want to keep it a white, that's fine, but I'll keep mine on orange because I want a little bit of that orange tint to it. And we'll come here to glow radius, and we can crank this up by a little bit, maybe like 40 or so. And we can come here to glow intensity and bring this up by a little bit. So it's getting a lot going on there and if you don't like how much glow you're getting you can increase the glow threshold and that kind of controls it of course you can bring it down by a little bit and get a unique look there i think that's cool so we'll do 45 on the glow threshold and that looks good then what we can do here is duplicate this layer and you're gonna get some crazy stuff going on there we're getting really a lot and what we'll do here is we'll increase the glow radius up to like 200 and wow we're really looking pretty much close to what we need to be but let's come here and increase the glow threshold to maybe 90 percent that way we control it by a little bit and that looks cool all right and now we'll do one other effect we'll do effect noise and grain and we'll add noise because we're getting a lot of banding here and we'll set the noise up to maybe like six percent and we can uncheck use color noise and nice now this is starting to look kind of really authentic it looks cool so now that we have our glow effect in here we don't have any animation and i would like to see this flicker and when that flickers i want to be able to see kind of like the sign in the background so what we'll do here is we'll do the flicker first so let's go into our you know placeholder and we go to our title we'll open this up we'll go to animate click that little icon there and we'll add opacity and we can set the opacity down to zero percent open up range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for start uh, and we'll move forward maybe by like a second or so, maybe two seconds, and set up to 100%. So now let's come on like this. That's cool. Then let's go here to the Advanced tab, and let's set this to Randomize Order from Off to On. So now it'll come on randomly. There's also like a random seed that pops up if you want to change that, and that's cool. So we've got a little bit of a flicker on. And now I like to move forward by a little bit and bring down the start by a little bit. So we have a little bit of a you know flicker there and then bring it back up you know maybe not fully on and we're just going to go back and forth just to create that flicker effect there all right cool and then i might just randomize the seed by a touch okay nice okay and in order to do the black portion of this what we'll do is we'll copy our title and we'll come here to our tutorial we'll paste it in here put it underneath everything and we'll change the stroke straight to a dark gray. And then what we'll do here is hit U twice on our keyboard to bring up all of our parameters. And we'll select animator one and delete it. All right, and here's currently what we have. And it looks really cool. And of course you can go a little bit less intense on the flicker animation. I definitely think it's a little bit too much for this example. But you know, this is essentially how you can create a really cool quick, you know, neon glow effect and you know, 
start creating some really cool things. So that concludes our neon sign effect along with several different of our techniques. Hope you did enjoy this video. Remember, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.